Imagine a small untouched island paradise with pristine white sand beaches, unbelievable artisan food, amazing day trips, rare wildlife, arguably the best seafood in Australia, and some of the highest sea cliffs in the world. How sick. Hey, I gotta say, man, Bruni Island has just impressed me from start to finish. And after spending 24 hours exploring this little gem, I can't believe no one ever told us about it before. Maybe it's because it's just a small island nestled away all the way down here, off the coast of Tasmania here, which is already an island off the coast of Australia here. Whatever the reason, as a couple of Kiwis, we've found your hidden gem, Australia. So come spend the next 24 hours seeing why this place has stolen our hearts. And make sure you stay till the end because every video in this series has bloopers. <laughs> I've fallen in love with Bruni and we've only been here for five minutes. This Tasmania series is made possible thanks to Jetstar, who have the lowest fares so we can use the savings on inclusions we want when booking. And we are all about the value you get from a Plus Bundle. Included baggage, seat selection and snacks. I'm all about picking that chicken wrap up front. Whereas I'm a snacker from way back, so I like the choice of adding an in-flight voucher with the bundle instead and then deciding on the flight if I'm craving banana bread or Pringles, or both, with a Pepsi. So if you're looking for some savings on your next trip, check the link below for some unbeatable prices to Tasmania and beyond. It's gonna be a long day. It's gonna be a fun one though. Let's go. Watch out, bruh. Whoa, that's weird. Wow, beautiful colors though, my dude. What the <laughs> hell was that? It had one of those like uh, Zorro eye things on. <laughs> wow, look at this. We made it. G'day. I've already pre-booked online. So we were so early that we've actually just jumped on a ferry earlier than we had anticipated. But it looks like they run basically every 20 to 30 minutes or so. But there's only like three or four cars here. Damn, it's bright though. I can't <laughs> You're start <okay>. to see. <laughs> I have to just say a quick shout out to Gordon, the skipper up there who recently watched our Scotland videos and just said hello. And he was like, no way, what are you guys doing here? That's awesome. Thanks, Gordon. Perfect driving, mate. Perfect. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Cheers, Gordon. Cheers, <laughs> Gordon. morning exercise, eh? Are you ready for this? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> made it. We made it. Wow, right, it looks so nice behind you. That view. 279 stairs or something later. I did 480. Yeah, someone forgot to I forgot something halfway up. I had to run all the way back down. Back <laughs> up. <laughs> So I'm puffing, but damn, look at the contrast. Hello. One looks like a kind of crappy lake almost, and then that is a <laughs> stunning beach. Yeah, that's like the white sand versus the green versus the blue. Love it. I love that we were early to get up here as well. I know, we've got the place basically all to ourselves. This is the neck, basically where you come for the best views in all of Bruni. And it kind of just shows the north and the south that's bound together by this narrow strip of land. That's the bit that's called the neck. It is so stunning up here. I think I've fallen in love with Bruni and we've only been here for <laughs> five minutes. <laughs> Especially knowing what's in store for today. I, know. <laughs> I think that's why we're so early. We're just standing around like, oh, when does stuff start? <laughs> Come on, you didn't think we've got you, did ya? <laughs> There's another advantage of being on time or being early. Bruni Island Chocolate Co. Says it opens at 10 a.m. It's currently 9.33 and there are people consuming chocolate. <laughs> so I want in. Oh yeah? Is it open? I mean, it looks like it. It's a big site, actually. Ralph, how do we narrow it down? What how, can... <laughs> how many are we allowed? <laughs> well, this isn't proper breakfast. This is like pre-breakfast, right? This is a breakfast entree. Well, you can have it after you tour. Yeah, that's see, true. This <laughs> morning, <laughs> that's this afternoon. A, that's a salesperson right there. I like it. Very smart. <laughs> I saw caramel bars and that obviously got me. I got coconut rum. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Mm hmm. That's delicious. You know what this tastes like? Those chopped top ice creams that we get at home. Oh, yeah. If you're from New Zealand, you know exactly what I'm talking about. 
there's only so much of this beautiful looking island that we can see from land, even from that lookout. So we're going out with Bruni Island Cruises. We're doing a three hour tour and it sounds like there's some exceptional things out there. Like I'm so amped for this. There's the possibility of seeing seals, dolphins and migrating whales. Um, our restaurant does serve uh, morning tea and lunch if you're interested in grabbing a bite to eat before oh. or afterwards. Apart from that, you're all set. Relax and let nice. us know if we can help in any way. Cool. Perfect. Thank you That's so much. Fantastic. All right. Good morning, guys. How are we all? Good. Great. Good. Welcome. For those of you who have not been lucky enough to meet this morning, I am Jamie. We've got Cam here as well. You met the other boat crew down on the boat. Uh, fantastic to see you all here. We really appreciate your support. Weather conditions out in the boat. Uh, today we're gonna have some winds from the west. It'll swell, a couple of meters, but it will be 10 degrees cooler out on the water. We are going to the Great Southern Ocean, not the Great Barrier Reef. Boats move so fast and they're so quick to manoeuvre. I'm impressed. It's like a roller coaster. It is, they go so close to the cliff. Well, when we stop places like this, feel free to stand up if you wish. Oh, we're allowed to stand up. We've got a seatbelt oh, on seat though. <laughs> <laughs> Under that belt you'd, if you like, guys. Come you'd forget that. We'll spin the boat side to side. If you have issues with motion, when we slow the boat down like this, great opportunity to stand up. That was wild, I love it. I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> Look at all the seals. They're so camo. <laughs> Look at the seals. Great stinky seals. That's cool, eh? Amazing. Smells a bit funky. <laughs> Well, but do a flip. Yes. The old dual skipper combo we've got going on has been handy as well because they're always on the lookout. There's always someone standing out the front of the bow, hopefully, hoping <laughs> we can see a whale or something in the distance. Oh, but I for hope now, it'll be so cool, eh? But for now, it's all about these seals. I mean, seals are always the easiest thing to spot because they generally stay in one place like this. <laughs> they're lazy during the yeah, day. Yeah, and they're lazy as hell during the day and they feed during the night, apparently. We're just cruising around this albatross here, which is very rare to see them on the water. And this sneaky little guy keeps turning his back. <laughs> rude. <laughs> so bloody rude. Oh, you Mind your head. Thanks Take boys. Your time. Appreciate yeah. it. Oh, that was awesome. That was epic. The scenery. I hope it comes out on camera because it was unreal. A lot of it looked like Giant's Causeway on a massive scale. Yeah. It was... Cold. Freezing, <laughs> but to get up close to those seals as well, that was special. Yeah, you might know if you've followed us for a little while, I'm a bit of a baby. In fact, that's not even fair to babies when it comes to the cold. Thermal, long sleeve, hoodie, puffer, and then this over and a beanie, and I needed every single layer of it. He wasn't gonna wear his puffer. <laughs> like he bought me. Yeah. A smart one. <laughs> We've um read online that the main road of Bruni Island is like the, an island of gourmet grocer and I think this is why because there's just amazing stuff everywhere we're gonna try some cheese and some beer now yeah girl it's good I wasn't expecting this big like outdoor kind of area like this it's cool, I'm about it I'm about it we're gonna have a cheese tasting there right you're gonna have a beer tasting here <laughs> but this one get a wash in uh, Pinot Noir and then it's wrapped in vine leaves wow. is it easy to share yes I was worried it would be really strong but it's not it's really smooth. Mm. This is Bruni Island Cheese Co. It's also Bruni Island Beer Co. Cheers. Two of our favourite <laughs> things in one. Talk to us about the cheese. I've got a mouthful of cheese right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we did the tasting beforehand so we knew what we wanted, but then we were told that they just picked whatever's good at the time. So we have one called Saint, which is the, like, the gooey camembert one. One that's a little bit stronger than that. 
similar vibes though, gooey, creamy, and then the hard cheese in the middle, which was I think it's called Tom. I think that's going to be our favourite one. No, that, from the tasting, that was my favourite. Yeah. It's like dry. There's like a texture to it. It's, it's like it tastes like buttery, buttery, if that creamy, makes sense, yep, in a good yep. way, like I'm salty. About and... that. Well, this is a good-looking platter. So if you thought by now we were done showcasing all of the amazing food and things to eat in Bruny Island, you'd be wrong. You'd be very wrong. <laughs> <laughs> we're about to get shocked. Oh yeah, can't wait to get shocked. <laughs> oh god, cut that out. <laughs> This is the world's first oyster drive through behind Danger. That's cool. But the other thing that we noticed that was cool was their website. And I have to read you this. It says, want to wrap your lips around an oyster that's so fresh it's like you're being kissed by the ocean. <laughs> and then what else did they say? An oyster without a bevy is like a kiss without a cup. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously we got some we got some local bubbles and then we've gone for the the mixed dozen so we got four Kilpatrick we've got four panko and we've got four uh, fresh natural. natural and this was that's 30 bucks that's great value. That's pretty good isn't it? And I can tell you they're delicious oh. <laughs> I feel like I just picked it out of the ocean myself it's a good place. yeah <laughs> Hey dude. What's up? G'day mate. How's it going? <laughs> We're on our way to uh, find our accommodation, which is, as you can tell, right out here with the joeys. It's a wall, man. It's still called a joey though, right? A baby's a joey. Oh, that, oh, I didn't realize that was specific. I just, I knew I there was, so. I was just trying to be so confident that there was a difference between <laughs> wallaby and kangaroo. Here it is. Woohoo! We won't forget the name of this place. Oh, there it is. Because it's called The Hide at Sheepwash Bay. Welcome. Oh, it's so sick. There's a custom design tiny house, fully off grid. Incredible, like, wait till you see this view. Uninterrupted oh. views. Perfect time for sunset. It's kind of just through there a little bit, eh? I have barely seen it and I'm already excited. Oh, we've got a little fireplace. So this is set on Sheepwash Bay Estate. It's 37 acres, I think. It's huge. It's super peaceful. There's another tiny house just up the road, 50 meters. It's called The Shack. They own both of them. And it is <gasps> the bar. Wait, what? There's Why the is there a bar? The in bar the is right there in the bedroom. <laughs> this is so cool. So I was already just looking. Yes. Like you've got one, two, and three outdoor spaces. And all of this as well. How sick. Hey, I gotta say, man, this day, like, we're, we're tired, I'm not gonna lie. We said first thing this morning it was gonna be a long day, and it has been, but this, Bruni Island has just impressed me from start to finish, and then you throw in this cool, unique, custom, Sorry, like, smartly designed accommodation, and it just makes me, it just gives me, like, this whole new lease of life before we crash once we, once we stop filming. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. There's so many doors, which one do I pick? Go through the this big one. one. Yeah, main one. Oh, that's it's so nice. Oh, How's it I was so hoping we'd have a fireplace as well. Just to jump in real quick, the following day, we're just about to check out. On site at Sheepwash Bay is the Bruni Island Baker. We're standing outside and we can smell it already. It smells so good. If you're staying on site, they deliver it to your mailbox. But if you're a local or someone passing by, they've got this fridge. That's so cool, man. Oh, Anzac, oh, well, there's all the pricing there. Oh, you can pay by cash? Uh, oh, with, that's what we need, yes. Okay. And then there's biscuits in here? Oh, no veggies. Yeah, no veggies, no gutted. Oh, side of the road. And get, sorry, dog. Hi, yeah. buddy. You can normally stop on the side of the road and there's these awesome photos that people share online. Hello, yeah. you're Hi. adorable. We got a message from the guys that say, hey, if you want to come up and have a look and, and, and check out the bakery. Oh, they didn't tell us it was a dog. Stace. Such a serious voice, I thought I'm, we were in trouble. I'm sorry. Picture this. Bruni Island, Waiheke Island before it got yes. like super commercialized. Yeah. Definitely. I think also because this is bigger and like maybe a bit more spread out, it makes it feel like there's more undiscovered places. Yes. Yeah, I'm down with it. It's just 
super peaceful. What a day. I really like it here. Yeah. So we'll leave a link for this place below if you're in the description if you're keen to check it out. We're only staying for one night, which is unfortunate because I yeah. feel like this is the kind of place that I could easily like schedule in a day. Hunker down. Just to actually hunker down and chill. But we've got, uh, oh look at that, that's so pretty. <gasps> the sun's good too, eh? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> So many more incredible journeys to come. Next up is we're heading up the east coast, Friendly Beaches, Bay of Fires, Bracenay National Park. Whew. This has been a big ass day and there's a long video so thank you for making it this far in. Hit the, hit the little like button if, uh, if you've enjoyed hanging out with and us. And the little this subscribe time. button too. Ooh, big upgrade. <laughs> Alright, we'll catch you in the next one. But arguably the biggest food. No. To see the point where the Tasman Sea meets the southern look, the southern look. Point, point. Stop, stop recording. The best place to come for all the good oh. <laughs> All the amazing food and things to eat. And uh, where are we? Bruni. The neck. Uh, yeah, so oh, I was supposed to say that. Sorry, I can't just flow. <laughs> anyway, you should take this. I'm breaking all the rules. Island, you got 360 degree. degree. Oh. It's this, what is it called? It's the Bruni Island Baker, Bruni Island Baker. and it's this kind of like <laughs> this. Um,